have seven grams of, no, seven ounces of habaneros cut up ready to get started. There's all our peppers, our garlic, carrot, onion. Then we have to add in two cups of distilled white vinegar. And we're going to do half a teaspoon of paprika. It said, the recipe says sweet paprika, but my thing just says paprika, so <laughs> I don't know. And we need half a teaspoon of oregano. Just gonna grab a few pinches. Yep, looks good. And then half a teaspoon of salt and half a teaspoon of pepper. I'm gonna turn this on and bring it to a boil. And I'm just gonna give this a stir. So the website that I'm getting this recipe from, I will link in the description box, but the guy just has loads and loads of recipes all dealing with hot peppers. So it's really awesome, but um, one of the warnings he does say is that when you are cooking this that it's best to have like the airflow coming through here um so i have our well i've had our kitchen doors open all day and our window and i'm just going to make sure i keep those open because the fumes from the hot peppers can make it difficult to breathe so we don't want that to happen all right i need to deal with this so this is boiling so I'm just gonna give this a quick stir and turn it down to a simmer and then cover that up. I'm just gonna let this simmer for 10 minutes and then we're gonna toss it into the blender, I think. It either has to go into the blender or a food processor, but I think I'm gonna use the blender. Check on this one last time. I think we're gonna call it a day with this. It's a bit thicker than I want it to be, so it just says to add a tablespoon of water at a time until you get the consistency that you want. So let's try this. So this is the second tablespoon I'm adding. And they do... That's two and a half so far I've added. I think that's it. All right, so I've added seven tablespoons of water to just kind of um, make this a little bit thinner. I'm going to give it a taste now to see if it's the right consistency that I want and to see how hot it is. Have a small teaspoon here. You guys can see that. It's like an orange color. All right, I just had like a little drop and it seems okay. So, ooh, actually. <laughs> I can feel it in the back of my throat. It hit a little bit later. But anyway, okay. Maybe we'll just do half. <laughs> Maybe we'll just do half of this teaspoon and see how it is. It definitely doesn't hit you straight away. Um, at first it just has like a sweet taste to it. But now that I've swallowed it, I can actually feel a little bit of a burn in my throat, but it's not too bad. I'm actually gonna have the rest of this teaspoon. 
I think it tastes quite nice actually. I can feel that it is starting to burn a bit more now. So it's quite deceiving because when you first have the teaspoon, I mean, I even had, so I started with half a teaspoon and it was completely fine. I had the second teaspoon. It still tasted sweet. I've been talking, it hasn't really done much, but now it's progressively getting worse as time goes on. I have orange jalapenos out on the deck as well. Same thing happened. I actually, I, I took one of those off of the plant the other day and I chopped it up and I thought, oh, it has a little bit of a, t a sweet taste to it. And then all of a sudden I was like crying. <laughs> So it like definitely hit way later. Um, same thing happened with Allie. He's like, I don't know, I can't believe you were crying. And then all of a sudden he's like, whew, I knew this was gonna happen all. <laughs> so I guess maybe that's just how the habanero hits you, but yeah, that hot sauce is actually like, has a nice heat to it. So um, when I do my Carolina Reaper recipe, I'll definitely use that uh, website from the same guy. Um, and like I said, I'll link this chili recipe in the description box below, but let's get this bottled up into something and then we'll put it in the fridge. Get my a Pix peanut butter jar. Pix peanut butter, they've got a top like this, is my absolute favorite. It's so good. Oh, that's not even big enough. We got this jar, this jar, and this jar. I'm gonna put that into the fridge, but that should stay good for hopefully a long time because it's made with vinegar. The recipe does say to wait like two days before you actually try it because it gets better. So um, we shall see. So I realized that I never quite finished filming this video, but I wanted to give you an update on our habanero hot sauce. So this is the only jar that we have left now. I did give away the bottle that I had filled up, um, but the other one we finished up and we've also started on this one as well. We are thoroughly enjoying this hot sauce. It is the perfect heat for us. We actually made chicken wings with this hot sauce and they were fantastic. Allie covered them in hot sauce and cooked them on the grill. Oh my god, they were so good. And I also have enough habaneros in the freezer right now to make another batch, so I will definitely be making a second batch of this because oh, this is the, my favorite hot sauce that's in the fridge right now. But that is it for today, guys. I uh, hope that this encourages you to grow your own habaneros and make your own hot sauce. If you do, definitely try this recipe. Again, I will link it in the description box below and give it a go, it's so good. And if you did enjoy watching this video and want to see more hot sauce recipes, make sure you subscribe and I have a Carolina Reaper hot sauce recipe coming up soon that also turned out quite spicy. So I will catch you in the next one guys. See ya.